just Curtis Grevenitz. All right, welcome back everybody. Friday before Halloween coming up, of course, on Sunday, but already around town you've seen a lot of people uh, in some costumes. Hmm, imagine that. Uh, taking a look at Helena right now. We're up in the low 70s. The cold front is just off to the north still, 64 degrees. Some wind gusts, boy, it's windy, up to 36 miles per hour. Very close to the record high today. Set back in 1968. Clouds increasing. Here's the front moving through the Seaman Flats area and uh, just getting over to about the North Hill right now. Colder behind it. That's what a cold front does. 32 degrees with some snow coming down around Cup Bank. So the winds switch around to the north and the northeast behind the front here, out of the front. Southwest winds. Look at that at Livingston. Eesh. Tough drive there on Interstate 90 with that wind, but the wind will continue to switch around here and then we're going to really die off over the next few hours behind the front. We'll likely have fairly light wind uh, for most of the weekend. A little breezy out there in eastern Montana, but wind not that much of an issue at any point. And then heading into Sunday, that looks really nice. A little breezy again, northeast Montana. There's the front coming through with some moisture, some snow behind that. Closer look at uh, the hometown here and the surrounding area, and you can see some of those showers beginning to fill in. Some nice sunshine earlier today, but uh, the rain starting to move in. Snow still way up there above about 7,000 feet, but that continues to lower as colder air comes in. There you can see some of that rain moving into Great Falls, and here's where we've got the snow coming all the way down to the lower elevations up here on the High Line. And, uh, some pretty heavy snow up there around uh, Teton Pass right now. Some rain showers all the way out to uh, the High Line here as well. Here's the big picture and besides the storm coming through the Northern Rockies and the Pacific Northwest there's a really big storm into the East Coast. Uh, the Aurora Borealis I mentioned may be out and it may be as far south as about the central part of the country here. So a lot of the East Coast uh, people a lot of light pollution and a lot of cloud cover with that uh, storm moving through. But for us, we'll have this front going through tonight. Some rain showers, colder through the overnight hours, and a little light snow developing here. Probably not much in the Helena Valley. This might be one of those situations where the North Hill and off towards the north we get a little light snow. But some light flurries uh, here and some cloud cover throughout the day tomorrow. Clearing though tomorrow night, look at the clouds moving on off towards the south, should be a nice clear night. And then Sunday, of course it's Halloween, looking pretty nice uh, here all the way through the evening hours with clear skies. Little light snow, little heavy snow actually up around the East Glacier area, but just a little coating of snow out across the north central part of the state to down the continental divide here through tomorrow morning. Here's the forecast for tonight. Rain showers mixing with, changing over to some snow here, some light accumulation up the Continental Divide, out there around the big belts, the little belts, the Elkhorns picking up a little light snow as well. Here's the forecast for tomorrow, some light snow, north central Montana along the Rocky Mountain front in the morning hours, but much colder air coming in here for a lot of the state and around the Helena area, some flurries, maybe some sun in the valley by the afternoon, but not a lot of sun up in the mountains here with some of that light snow falling. Speaking of the mountains, who's heading up there this weekend, much colder, but fortunately there will not be a lot of wind We'll get with uh, either of the days on Saturday and Sunday. High temperatures in the upper teens to the 20s all the way up at the mountaintops. All right, here's the seven day forecast. 72 today for the high, 42 for the high tomorrow. A little light snow again around through the morning hours. Look at those lows here over the next few nights. 20s, even the teens on Sunday night. Easter uh, for uh, Sunday, we'll be looking at some chilly stuff through the evening hours with temperatures dropping through the 30s and eventually into the 20s.